Hi, we're going to look at rounding whole numbers. Rounding numbers. We always round numbers when we're doing maths. Remember our rule. If it's a higher than a five, we round up. Or if it's four or below, we round to zero. And this is the rules that we have for whole numbers. First step on whole numbers, we identify which number is first and then we look at the neighbour. So here in our tens column, we've got a zero and the neighbour is three. So is it higher than a five? No, it's a four or below. So it goes to zero. Example, we find the neighbour and then we round the other neighbours. This is the difference with whole numbers. So our five, the neighbour is a nine, so that's a high five. So we're going to round up and we're going to add the one so that makes our whole number change to 600. Round the whole number, not just the neighbour. So we're going to round. We need to learn the place values. So ten thousands, thousands, we have hundreds, tens and units, which is where our ones are. So here's our number. We're going to round this to the nearest thousand. In our thousand column is a seven and neighbour is a five. So we know that's high. So we're going to add a one to that that rounds it up to eight and changes the whole number to sixty eight thousand. So here's our place value chart. There's our number. We're going to round up in the tens column. So neighbour is a four, so it goes below to a zero. Then in our hundreds column, it's a five. The neighbour is a two, goes below to a zero. Thousand column is a seven. The neighbour is a five, so that goes up to an eight. And in the ten thousand column, it's a one and the neighbour is an eight. So we round that up to a two, so the whole number being 20,000. So here we're going to round up to the millions. So we look at the neighbour, which is 100,000. It's high, so we add one that moves up to nine. So that gives us 19 million. Example, so you might want to buy some burgers at £1.49 each. You only have £6. So then you might want to round that up to £1.50. Now 6 divided by 1.5 is 4. So your actual cost would be £5.96. So it's telling you you can actually buy 4 burgers. So why do we need to estimate? Say you want to buy two ice creams and the man said it costs five pounds, but you know they cost one ninety nine each. By quick estimation and rounding, you know he's overcharging you. Naughty.